I'm here to make a presentation on development and testing of Arduino controlled convective heat dryer. I am by name Chibuzo Victor Ikwago and with me on the project or on the research are the names you can see on the screen. I am from Mechanical Engineering Department, University of Nigeria, Asuka. And this is the abstract of the work which necessarily tells us about what we did in this project in a summary form. Uh, we know that drying has been an age-long practice used by our forefathers to preserve food crops and um, most of our food crops for us to use it for a very long time we have to preserve them to make sure that we don't lose them because moisture in a, in our food crops can cause a whole lot of damage to them hence we need to dry them to remove the moisture so that they can last for a very long time hence the need to construct dryers which will adequately do this work without much hassle Molala, Gidiani and Kapila in 2015 that 20 to 30% of all grain crops produced was wasted, were wasted due to improper preservation and 30 to 50% of tuba and root crops were as well wasted owing to improper food preservation. Now in this work we decided to go into it with a view to using a software, an Arduino software to make sure we um, um, set the temperature of the dryer at a given temperature where the drying will occur. In this work, we set it at temperatures 60, 65, and 70 degrees Celsius. We want to know the adequate, the one that will give us the best drying curve in this work so that we can use it to determine the drying kinetics of the food crop we selected, which is the scoria dimetorum. In Igbo language, it is called ona. And materials we used in this work are as you can see on the board but plywood constituted about 75 to 80 percent of the whole production um, first of all before we went into the production of the dryer we did what we call energy and mass balance of the dryer to know the heat requirement of the dryer and to know also the rate at which moisture will be removed at the product to make adequate conditions for these two which we call the energy and the mass balance we made sure that we selected the best condition for them doing some calculations doing some meddlings using basic heat equations to analyze the heating chamber of the heat dryer or what we call the drying chamber sorry this is the dryer prototype shown in figure one figure two shows um, the drying process of the tripolitium when we are testing it. Remember this is development and testing. So after developing the dryer, we tested it. And uh, we used them um, as our heat energy source, electric bulbs, um, incandescent bulbs, 200 watts each, and they are four in number, making 800 watts. 
um, from our design, we found out that 712 watts was what we needed. So um, that's why we used 800 watts of bulb. Of course, we use Arduino to control the temperatures at which we need the drying to occur. And figure 3 shows the um, trifoliatium before drying and after drying. The one on top was um, the trifoliatium before we started the drying. Sorry, the one on top is the trifoliatium before we started the drying. And the one under is the trifoliatium after, after drying. You can see how it looks. Is different from the one we have on top and um, the figure 4 can show you we want to show you the Arduino unit which is a circuit electronic unit um, electronic circuit unit which shows um, you can see the first one is showing you 70 degrees Celsius and the other one is showing 75 six, sorry 65 and the other one is showing 60 degrees Celsius I just want to show you the originality of this work that um, uh, to the best of our, own, our knowledge this work has not been no dry, dry no dryer has been constructed using Arduino to regulate its temperature and that's why we, we, we said let's on back of this journey to make to see if we can use Arduino to regulate the temperature of the dryers and we succeeded Um, the three graphs shown in figure 5, 6, and 7 represents the drying curve at 60 degrees Celsius, 70, 65 degrees Celsius, and 70 degrees Celsius. Um, the best curve that better describes um, the drying curve for the discoria de metronium is uh, the one of 70 degrees Celsius. I mean, it's evident. So um, that's why we prescribed at the end of this work that the best temperature to dry our discoria de metronium to give us the better finish and a good finish, uh, sorry, <laughs> to give us a better finish is uh, 70 degrees Celsius. Um, You can find out that this work has been completed 100%. I mean, the convective heat dryer has been developed and properly tested. It is from the testing that we got the result that we used to plot these graphs. And um, it was observed from the work that increase in temperature produced a significant addition in the drying rate of the scoria dematorium and also from the graphs produced you could see that drying rate reduced as the moisture constant content sorry decreases also as an indication internal moisture diffusion from the sorry internal moisture diffusion was the dominant phenomenon in the drying. Initially, the moisture reduction was faster at the commencement of the drying and then becomes slow towards the termination of the process. During our research work, Thank you for listening and God bless.